Okay, so you have your image and you have your background image. You're going to just drag the background image into the, the mo image with the model on. It comes up as a layer. See, background layer and layer. We're going to reduce the opacity down so you can see both layers. And then we're just going to move, pressing finger on the space bar to move the image around. It doesn't quite fit. So if we press Apple A, that's select all. You can see our selection. Then Apple T is transform. It gives you these little boxes at the edge. And we can just pull, pull the image down to fit. If you press your finger on shift at this point, it will keep the dimensions of the image, but we're only stretching it a little bit, so it doesn't matter. Then we're going to press quick mask. And we're going to make sure the colour is swatch is on black and white and select the brush tool. It must be on black and white, otherwise it won't work. We're painting in black at the moment, and as you can see, it's removing the background layer. If I switch, paint in white, it puts it back on. And you can press X on the keyboard to toggle through the black and white. It's an easier way of going back to the swatches. So we're making a big brush size. I'm on bright, so I'm switching to black. And we're literally going to really roughly just erase the background layer, very rough. From our model. Zoom in and out, use different brushes, just roughly bring our model back. And at this point you can also see if the background image is going to work, because if it's not going to work where you've got it, then you can start again and it saves you doing all this intricate time consuming work. That works, so we're just selecting a smaller brush, and being a bit neater. Try to be as neat as you can, but we're going to go around the edges later on with a, with a very small brush and make sure they're perfect, but be as accurate as you can at this point. So keep changing the brush size. Going around the edges of the face. Getting rid of that blue. It's quite therapeutic. Take some time, but it'll be worth it. So this bit is going to take a while, so I might shut up and you can just watch. You can fast forward through it, or you can. It's quite good to just watch the different brush strokes. So I'll let you watch. Watch this. This bit, I'm flicking between, pressing X and flicking between black and white. So I'm painting in black at the moment to remove the image of the C from the model. And then when I do go over an edge accidentally, as I go, I just flick to white and put the edge back in. So you're flicking between the brushes. As I do that, put the edge back in with white. Big brush, get rid of that bit. I'm 
makes it easier to do the edges. So you've just got a thin line that goes. Some more brushes in. I'm just going to put that one back and I'm just going to switch back to white and put my edge back in. You can increase the flow of your brushes. I had mine on. Not 100%, I think it's around 14, 20%. Because you can do more strokes. If you paint in 100%, then one stroke is a bit too harsh. If you paint with a lower opacity, it's a bit more like painting. You can bring it back gradually. Now hair definitely need to be on a lower opacity because it's not, there's not going to be straight edges so you can't paint it 100% so again we're roughly ringing it out just bring over the edges bring more detail out and you can see the background's coming through as well we're going to finish off the hair in a minute showing you the actual mask here with the red channel so you can see any any bits that you've missed in the middle of the image works for edges as well but you, you can do it all on this red, red mask but I guarantee when you flick it back on to normal view you your edges won't be right you need to do it by eye but this is very good for just seeing big chunks that you've missed But you still do the edges by eye. Going back to RGB and I'm clicking on the black and white. The black and white mask, because if you click on the, the image on the left in the top layer, that's the actual image and the black and white is the mask. You want to be back on the mask if you're going to continue using it. There you go, see? You really need to do this by eye, not with the mask, not with the red channel. I'm not actually going mega fast, I've sped this section up. So you can still see exactly what I'm doing. It's just speeding this bit up for you. Okay, now the blue off. Nice edge. Okay, 
Oops. Okay, there's some nice and some light. Have some more brush. Again, you don't want a very hard brush in the same way as you don't want to paint 100% because it's just too much. This is actually like painting, so you want a soft brush and a low opacity so you can make the edges nice and natural. I've just brought that background out so I can go back in and just get that edge nice and round. Okay, I've increased and take increase the opacity up there. I've got to show you to 100% just to see how dark the um, blue sky would be. And I'm just switching back. Again, if we roughly get rid of these bits of pencils, put the background into it, and we'd have another one. This is the artistic bit <laughs> with hair. You're going to um, get rid of the background image, but again, it's not, it's not set in stone. It's not the really hard edge because it's hair. So we're going to use a soft brush and we're going to just bring it back. It might mean we're going to paint over some of the hair that is there. We're going to bring some out. We're just going to make it look like it's meant to be there. We might actually get rid of that section there because it makes it look more natural. Just experimenting. Bringing these bits back, but are they going to work? Stand a little bit too much, maybe. These numbers up to the corners. Starting to look more natural. Like her hair is meant to be in front of that sky. Taking the opacity down. Bringing in bits of head back, taking bits of hair off.
and better. Much better. Spot an edge. So if we're going to have our background layer, the C, at 100%, because the original background is just one block colour, there's nothing, there's no people in the background or anything, so we don't actually have it, have to have it 100%. 